In this video, I'm going to talk about multi-pass rendering in Blender. Multi-pass rendering is an important part of the workflow and it is actually quite straightforward but there are a few things that you need to look out for in Blender. So let's get down to it. Uh, I have this scene with a car here and to do multi-pass rendering, first of all, let's go to under this here which is under the output properties there let's go and set up where we want to output the image later there uh, select this as a normal one i'll just select it at jpeg at the moment and you go down here under post processing the processing here the sequencer i never use it so i'll keep it off but the compositing you will need to switch this on uh, because this is an important part of the multi-pass rendering workflow so let's do that and after that you go here which is uh, layer properties and here this is where you set up all the passes that you want to render so i've already set up a few of them let's uh, let's add a few more like uh, emission and ambient occlusion and so on uh, let's even some crypto map here so so this is all you need to do and to render you just go to render and render image So you see here, the render is completed. If you go here, you will have a composite and you have the view layer. The composite here is um, the final output after it is gone through the compositing process. And this is the view layer. Under the view layer here, you go select view layer and here you can see all the, all the passes that uh, you are selected. So already been rendered here. So you can have it here in the uh, viewer here and then now we need to go to compositing and you see it's compositing here i'll add a viewer node okay viewer node and you see here under the render layers you can see you have all these different different uh, passes so all the part is pass is ready to be used under compositing. For example, if you take the AO here, say for example you take the AO, this is the AO, and you put it under the composite. So if you do this, then if you go back to the uh, the compositor, you will select here the compositor, and you get this one as a compositor because this is what you get at the end of the compositing process. Okay, normally we just do this. Okay, in Blender, you can actually do more than just rendering passes. You can actually render layers. What do I mean by layers? I mean, if you go up here, uh, you can add more layers. This is a view layer. This is a main layer. It's called view layer. I didn't rename it, so just it's easy for you to see. This is the main layer. I already created another layer. This layer is layer two. You see this layer two? Uh, the body of the car is hidden. How do I do that? Uh, you just create another collection, one collection here, this collection height, and you put this body under that collection, so you can switch it on and off. All your collection, you can switch it on independently, different layers. So here you switch it on, but under the layer 2, you switch it off. You can switch it on, and you switch it off. So that's how you do the two layers, how to render them. For the layer 2, you go here. You just go here and you just click uh, use for rendering and you can select whatever passes that you want to render just like the main layer. So now if you render again. So now if you render again, we see here we got three layers. We got the composite layer, we got the view layer, but now we also have the layer two because we click the use rendering here. So under the layer 2 here, it has its own passes. So now if you go into compositing, you have this render layers here. This is for view layer. But, but now you can create another, you can copy this one. And instead of view layer, you select the layer 2. So this one you have, uh, for example, you can see you have, sorry. You also have the 
passes for render two. This is layer two. This is layer two. This is view layer. So you have the passes for both layers available for you in the compositor. So you can you know you can do anything whatever you want to do with it. That's how you create all these render passes in Blender. And now what happens if you want to save it? If you want to save the files, you need to you need to do the render animation. So before you do render animation, make sure your start and end frame is the same so that you can only render one frame instead of a, a number of frames. So I only set it one and one. So if I click render animation, let's see what happens. Uh, so this is what you, you you get. Okay, so when you render, you only get the final render. That means the the file at, at the very end of your compositing workflow here. You see? Those are, are what you get in here. I mean here. So all the other passes is considered. I'll show it to you. I add this uh, add this uh, image now. Okay, and open that, that particular file and show it to show this uh, hook this one to viewer. So these are the images that you get, just this one. Okay, uh, if you want to save the passes, all the other passes, there are two ways. The first one is you just go and uh, towards the on the side here uh, at the output. Instead of using file format JPEG, you can use the file format which is open as a multi layer. So you just select that and you render again. Okay, now we see we have this uh, test 001 ESR, and if you take a look, it is 22.2 megabyte, which is actually uh, very big because it has all the layers. Uh, inside it so if we open here and then we replace uh, we, we see this one you see this is the ESR and then you can see you have all the layers inside here you can use this is ESR to be used in new uh, of the effects or Netron or whatever uh, so this is uh, one way to do it the second way is if you want to if you want to save the images but not in one combined ESR file but in that you need to use under the compositing here you need to use the output file output okay so file output here so this file output you can go uh, you just go here on the side here and you will have all these things and first of all you just select where you want to save it See the same thing the file format now because we are going to use the separate files so we don't need to use the multi-layer and we just want to use uh, just a PNG for now so we have a PNG here and here is the input input here is where what are the files that you want to save so I just want to put four files here so I have four files here I can hook up this file with whatever that I want for example I UV here tab here uh, AO here and say image here so you see this, this is uh, all the uh, this AO here the files these are all the files that I want to save here I have the option of rename it so, so if this is like the adapt This one, the second one is UV. This I made. The fourth one is say AO. I also have the option to actually uh, process it. For example, um, if you see this depth map here, you don't you cannot see anything at the moment. But if I process it with a mesh node. multiply point one you see 
Okay, I have processed it. So I can see it. So, so I use the same thing to go into the files to be safe. So after you have done this, render again, render animation. So now if open the the images, you have a folder under this folder. You have uh, these four images, and these four images they are all like uh, they are all named based on what we name uh, in inside the blender here. So whatever we we rename here, they'll have the name here. Okay. So uh, so that's basically it. Uh, I've shown you how to do the multi pass rendering how to do multi-layer multi-pass rendering so you two ways to save the the layers or the passes that you have that you have generated which is through multi-layer ESR or through own separate files okay i hope you find this useful